return. The end is finally upon us as God of War 3 marks the finale of Kratos' Revenge Trilogy. Sony Santa Monica has been hard at work on the title since God of War 2 shipped for the PS2 almost three years ago to the day, and this will mark the studio's first PlayStation 3 release. The expectations have been understandably sky high, and for the most part, God of War 3 delivers where it counts. It's epic, brutal, bloody, and at times it's almost inarguably the best looking game we've ever seen. <laughs> Right off the bat, let me say that God of War 3 looks flat out amazing most of the time. Kratos may be, in fact, the single best looking character ever in a video game. It's one thing to make aliens look good, as they don't have any real world comparison, but it's another thing entirely to create a shirtless man and nail the lighting and texture work as well as Santa Monica's done. Some areas in the game look equally stunning, with stuff that looks like it could have been ripped straight from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The game truly approaches film-like visuals and spots, and even after you've been playing for hours on end, you'll continue to be amazed at how good it can look. However, while there are some amazing spots, things can be a bit uneven at times, especially in terms of characters, even important ones. Granted, even at its worst, the game still looks really, really good, but there are sections that definitely look better than others, and it can make the experience feel a little disjointed. Speaking of disjointed, the story isn't as tight as the other titles in my opinion. That's not to say that it's bad, and I really like how things are left at the end, but it sort of feels like the story wasn't quite set in stone early enough, as it seems a little patched together at points. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep, this is unmistakably a God of War game with the same mechanics, puzzle types, and so forth that we've played a few times already. That's not a complaint by any stretch of the imagination, but don't expect a revolution in terms of gameplay in the franchise's jump to the PS3. What you can expect, however, are some of the biggest and most epic scenes you've ever seen in a video game. In expected God of War fashion, the game starts off in a huge way with you fighting on top of Gaia as she climbs Mount Olympus. The scale of this scene is nothing short of incredible, but it's not the last time you'll be blown away by the game's astounding scale. Likewise, you'll find some fantastic boss battles throughout the game. Many have more than one part, and while some aren't as great as others, there are still some seriously awesome and brutal fights in store for you that we won't spoil here. While I mentioned that the gameplay is largely the same, there have been some small but very welcome tweaks made to the combat. For one, you can now switch between weapons mid-combo by holding L1 and pressing X. You can swap through the four main weapons on the fly this way, allowing you to use all of them in a single combat sequence. Another nice tweak is that magic is now tied to a weapon, which means that it's easier to know what you have selected and you won't have to jump into menus or struggle with complicated button presses to toggle between them as they're one and the same. All of the weapons are good and ultimately useful in almost any situation, but they're not exactly unique. Aside from the Cestus, which is the set of gauntlets that you've very likely seen by now, the other two weapons that you earn are very similar to your blades. They move a little differently and have unique powers, but the idea is basically the same. It would have been nice to see something different, but, you know, at least they're useful this time. God of War 3 is a fantastic action game that caps off Kratos' console trilogy very nicely. It's not perfect, feeling a little disjointed and uneven at times, but the overall experience is still stellar. You're probably already going to buy it anyway, but you'll be happy to know that your money will be very well spent. For the full written review, head on over to IGN.com.